Hey guys, Ivan Alvarado here with Level Cap Interactive, and today I'll be reviewing Payday 2, sequel to the 2011 PlayStation Network release, Payday the Heist. If you're looking to buy Payday 2 because you think the story might be awesome or whatnot, then you obviously haven't done your homework. Payday 2 has just about as much story as the original Donkey Kong. You know their story there, but you just don't care about it. The missions and their objectives are told through CrimeNet by a person called Bane, who is basically your contractor and gets you jobs. Let's face it, this wasn't designed to have a compelling story, but at least you have some reason for being where you are besides just showing up and shooting up the place. In addition, it keeps you slightly more engaged in the missions than if there hadn't been any story. The controls in Payday 2 are simple and fun. The only real distinguishing difference between the four selectable characters is their in-game voices and their masks. Besides that, they each control exactly the same. As with most shooters on the market, the controls are very familiar. Shoot with a trigger, reload with square, jump with X, blah blah blah. What helps this game stand out is the stealth system that's been put in place. Almost every mission is capable of being completed without ever firing a bullet. But pulling off a perfect stealth mission on your own is something I would advise against. Successful stealth missions can only be accomplished by playing with a team of human players who know their way around the game. That brings me to the next check in the box. The single player portion of this game is a complete waste. It was only good to let people play the game for the first couple of days while the servers were shitting themselves from a larger than expected load of people trying to play the game on day one. Your team's AI is utterly useless for anything other than shooting at stuff. They won't interact with anything. Doors, money, gold, safes, cameras, deposit boxes, you name it, and unless it's shooting at them, they treat it like it has the plague and refuse to touch it. This makes playing the game on anything more than normal difficulty almost unbearably difficult when you're playing by yourself. When Bane tells you to retrieve eight bags of gold, you're on your own, pal. You need to personally lug all eight bags yourself. But that's not all. One of the other and probably most game-breaking problems is the game's constant ability to cause my system to crash. This happens way too frequently to be considered okay, and by today's standards, it's far from acceptable. Crashes come in all sorts as well. I've watched as my online team has been magically gunned down by unseen enemies, and have also seen where a drill would not restart. All of this leading to the inevitable system freeze just takes all the fun out of an otherwise extremely fun and tense game. While Payday 2 is not going to win any awards for its visuals, that doesn't mean that it's by any means ugly. Some textures are just ugly, and a majority of the interior sections are bland while the outdoor sections are nicely lit and offer more variety for your eyes to focus on. Where this game does an amazingly good job is in the level of detail placed into the weapons. Now just to make things clear, the weapons in this game aren't licensed, so you won't be, but will be, firing blocks or M16s. These weapons have been painstakingly modeled after their real life counterparts and just given fictional names. Every detail of these weapons is meticulously accurate down to the placement of multiple serial numbers and trigger mounted safeties. Your four main character models aren't too bad either, with their masks being the best detailed parts. Sadly the same can't be said for the innocent NPCs. They have the appearance of animated mannequins and sometimes don't even respond to your commands to get on the floor. The police units on the other hand look just as good as your crew and are easily identifiable as there are different types of police you'll come across during your playthrough. Sure, there are much better looking shooters on the market right now, and although visuals aren't the focus for this game, they managed to get the job done. It seems as if special attention was paid to the sound design of Payday 2. The loud crack and slight reverb of the weapons when fired outdoors has not been matched in any title, and really helps to sell the atmosphere of being the bank robber shooting it out with the cops in the middle of a sunlit street. When moving indoors, that sound is muffled authentically, yet it's still satisfying. The voice acting is also done well, and can also generate a few laughs when trying to fool the dispatcher on the other end of the police radio, or after restarting a drill. This is one area of the game that I have absolutely nothing negative to say. It was just superbly done. So Hawks, my six! Yo, Dallas, follow me! Yo, Hawks, my six! Like many good multiplayer games, this game falls in the category of being only as good as the people you are playing with. The phrase on the back of the box is the best way to play this game. To play this with friends and have an open line of communication is essential to finishing missions stealthily. Without that, there's a good chance you might get through a portion of a mission with a crew full of strangers, but the alarm will be tripped eventually. 
Regarding the stealth, the game will throw in some unforeseen monkey wrenches, especially considering the level's layout is dynamic and things won't be where you remember them to be the first time you played. This dynamic aspect is also done with patrols and civilian traffic. This all makes for a tense and thrilling run through while playing with anyone online. Multiplayer is also the way to go if you're trying to grind through the multiple levels of earned skills. Payday 2 essentially has an RPG style leveling system and is a great way to keep you coming back for more. If you're able to put aside the big issue of crashes, Payday 2 is a truly solid multiplayer experience that can't be found anywhere else. Despite its flaws, Payday 2 is a rewarding game that has great replayability. This is one game where the single player gamer need not apply. Payday 2 is a game that requires teamwork and greatly rewards teams who work together. As a $40 retail game and the glaring lack of a solid single player, it's hard to say this is a solid buy, but it's definitely worth the rental if you're even remotely interested. For the diehard fans of online shooters though, this is a must have. I give Payday 2 a 3.5 out of 5.